Hi, I'm Jennifer Lepore, Online Education Manager for Artists Network, and I am here with Joy Thomas in our studios. And we are so excited. Joy came back. She was here a couple years ago, and she filmed a video on drawing the clothed figure and doing really cool five-minute head studies yes. for portrait drawing. Yes. And um, we did an interview at that time right. where you talked a lot about how you got started with your artwork, your inspirations, your style. Right, right. We even went into your career. And um, now that you're here again, we did a portrait in oil and we did mm -hmm. a really cute dog portrait, drawing a dog. And um, I just wanted folks to get a chance to see you again, to talk to you again, and see maybe how you've changed. Is there anything <laughs> that's been going on in the past couple years with your life or with your style of painting? Well, I have uh, a lot more grandchildren. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> That's a great and we were talking about this earlier and actually, you know, we watched the interview and I think maybe I was smarter back then in some ways. <laughs> but, <clears throat> I think what I would say is my career's going full speed ahead, thank goodness. I've just been doing a lot more portrait work and I, I'm trying to really dedicate myself to getting out and doing more plein air, landscape painting. Um, I have a group that I work with. A lot of people have studied with me before. Some are friends, other artists that we share a model on Thursdays. So I'm doing a lot more uh, academic style uh, drawing, keeping my hand in with the nude and doing a lot of uh, drawing from life and painting from life. And, um, you know, still life. I'm still interested in all the things I was interested in, the mediums. I'm exploring more. Um, I would say that in the last couple of years, I'm seeing my own hand develop more, maybe. Um, and we were talking about this earlier, and I said, I think I'm a little more lean and mean, a little more hateful around the edges, you know. I, I've gotten a little uh, thicker skinned, and because the business end comes into it, and, um, you know, business is tough right now. I mean, you have to be, you know, very uh, on task when it comes to making the money, and and keeping yourself out there. There's always those young people coming up, you know, with all that talent, it's like, oh, you know, so you have to kind of watch out for them. And I have been teaching a lot. And I think my relationship with you all, with FNW, has really grown and I feel good about that. I feel like we're, you know, in a committed relationship now. <laughs> <laughs> so I like oh, that yes. part. And um, the teaching, I feel very comfortable um, I think that all those years that I spent being a student and paying attention to um, trying to get all of this information and learn and sort through it, and I think what's happening is as I grow older, I'm kind of mellowing, I'm figuring this all out, how to internalize it, make it on my own. And I, I wouldn't be where I am today without great teachers that shared and, and really brought me to this point. And of course, you know, I worked hard for it. Um, but I think it's my duty, really, to give back. And so when the students show up and they just won't go away, you know, I'm doing workshops and demos and, you know, DVDs. We're doing things together. Um, so we're talking about more. I, I like this idea of kind of collecting everything together and having it archived, more or less. So that's mm -hmm. kind of where I am right now. Well, I'm still really experimenting. And, pushing the envelope with my own work, mm -hmm. I think now it's broader in terms of the teaching and building my body of work and my portrait commissions, which are still, you know, foremost. Okay. And it was so interesting to me to learn that you did work with other like other mediums and other subjects. When I first heard about you and worked with you, I thought, well, she's a portrait painter. This is right. what she does for her career. Um, but then we were talking to you about, hey, I see some dogs in some of your portraits. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could do a dog portrait. And then seeing you draw that dog was, I just got lost in it. It was such great instruction and really fun to just watch it. And then the outcome was really interesting because the instruction you gave was the same type of instruction you gave right. for right. your portraits. Well, we were just talking about that yesterday, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. Um, and um, I think what I've tried to do is organize my thoughts mm -hmm. and, dare I say, my knowledge um, so <clears throat> that no matter the medium or the subject matter, if I'm in watercolor, pastel, oil, charcoal, pencil, 
that I approach, I have an approach, a system of collecting the information, comparative measuring, site size measuring, whatever's appropriate, the shape map, um, looking for, thinking in geometric shapes, which you saw very vividly in the dog. I drew balls and triangles and, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I look for the um, way to simplify it out. Like I said, oh, this looks like a paisley shape, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, the same thing happens with even a more finished uh, portrait commission or say a landscape or still life. You're looking for the, the major shape map and then you're looking for your um, the, sort of the puzzle pieces of dark shapes, light shapes, thinking more simply like a copy machine is what I try to tell people to do because that's what I try to do. So editing out how I see first and then transferring that information as quickly as possible and assigning to it a value and a hue, um, and you're kind of on the road. I mean, then it's, as you said, at the end of the taping yesterday, I think we're ready for accent marks and highlights. <laughs> I was like, hey, who's teaching us anyway? But anyway, <laughs> but it's true. It's kind of like you get all that down, it's, you're mm -hmm. almost done. Mm -hmm. So. Right now, I'm trying to simplify the way I approach it, make this more simple mm -hmm. for me and for others. And putting it into words and practice and just getting my students and myself on track with a discipline and an approach and a system. And then the expressive part comes at the end with all the snazzy, you know, the, where you see the artist hand, brushwork, mm -hmm calligraphy, you know, pencil marks, you know, just whatever, toward the end, you know. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you for having oh me. Oh, my gosh, you're welcome, and I hope that we get to see you again soon. Oh, I hope so, too.